in the class I teach on literature and spiritual experience, we read some scholarship about spiritual experience. And people who have studied it have made some interesting observations about what happens to the brain. When people report feeling spiritual experiences and their brains are kind of hooked up to these wires. It's fascinating. People under the influence of the spirit will report that their thoughts clarify at the same time as their emotions deepen. Uh, their memories become more acute, they pick up more things, and their imaginations expand. But spiritual experience is really the mind on full operation. And that, I think, is a great way of thinking about thriving. You know, spiritual thriving is almost redundant, you know, in the sense that if one has a spirit with one, if one has the third member of the Godhead with one, how I mean, we're thriving the best we possibly can in these bodies that we in have. His presence. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, and I, to me, um, spiritual surviving is what I think about when I think about you're doing what you need to do to stay on the track, but you're not really living into your privileges okay. as someone who can seek and can find the Spirit, who can be connected to the Spirit through Christ. Uh, spiritual thriving is to be conscious and aware. Uh, that you have the Spirit with you, and in all the ways that manifests itself, deepens your patience, your compassion, your ability to sit in traffic on a hot day, <laughs> you know, for example. <laughs> <laughs>